All right, welcome everybody. Uh, this is our weekly uh, video with UVA men's soccer head coach George Gelnovich. Uh George, a uh, good result last night, obviously, uh, rallying for an overtime win. Uh, maybe just uh, touch on uh, a good 2-1 win over a, a strong JMU side. I think they are strong, um, stronger than the record. And in particular, you know, they, they were a counter team. They were very um, organized in their defensive half, you know, nine guys behind the ball a lot of the time. Um, and, and were good at countering, in particular with their wide attacking players. And one of those wide attacking players caught us um, on a little bit of a counter. And a team like that that is so organized and compact, the last thing you want to do is give up an early goal. You know, it just it just made it really tough on ourselves. But I give us a lot, a lot of credit um, for, you know, it took us right to a minute and a half left in the game. But I give us a lot of credit for just staying with it, staying with it, staying with it, and staying within the framework of how we're playing and not panicking and just lumping balls into the box. Really, really stayed with it. And I really did feel like once we got the first one, we would get the second one. And it didn't take us long to get the second one. Uh, when you talk about the first and the second one, it both came from the same guy in uh, Darius Madison, uh, his first two goals of the year. Maybe just talk about his progression. Uh, yeah. Played the full uh, 97 minutes last night for the first time. Yeah, uh, gosh, yeah, he played more than right, more than a 90-minute game, you know, so, and that was the first time. So he, he is progressing from a fitness standpoint, from form, and he's getting there. Um, and, but, but the most important thing was scoring. You know, one goal would have been great for him to get two goals. Um, I think it's, it's really something he needed along with a full game. So I think he's got the confidence that he can play in a full game, and he's got the confidence that he can score. And, you know, let's face it, when we – started clicking last year he was a big part of that so we, we really need to get him going and uh, what a good time to get him going you, you think this is a turning point type of game for your team where uh, maybe things haven't gone your way the first few weeks of the year and and you get a couple you get a goal there and you see the spark and yeah. uh, the guys seem to to rally around that yeah maybe you know time will tell um Traditionally, I, I feel like mid-October is more like, you know, that, that kind of time. Last year, I think it was Notre Dame. And it might have been like the third week of October. So, uh, But each year is different. What I can say for sure is um, that was important. You know, that, that, that win, that game, uh, how we did it, Darius scoring, you know, everything about it was, was very important for us. Um, you know, I, I, I tend to think there'll probably be a game – a little further down the road a couple weeks from now, that, that, that might be the one that we start clicking on all cylinders. I mean, part of the issue has been just, you know, personnel. Um, and uh, we're finding ways to win with, it, with that. So you had to pit this Saturday, uh, ACC game on the road, uh, two games in a row on the road. You go to Mason on on Tuesday. Just uh, talk about the challenges uh, that you'll see at Pitt. Yeah. Well, they, I, they're better than last year. Uh, and their record's already better than that. Um, and... You know, they've had only one home ACC game, which they tied, and, and I know they haven't lost at home either. So uh, it's tricky. You know, it's a tricky game. Um, it's it's on turf. It's going to be cold. Uh, I think they they believe in themselves a little bit more than when we played them last year. Um, and I, but I think if we go there with the same frame of mind that we had last night against uh, JMU, just stay the course, stay the course, and not give up a goal. You know, that's the crucial thing that happened to us at Syracuse, giving up a goal in the first half. Um, that we'll find a way to get a goal and we'll find a way to win. Great. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.